we start now? Yeah. Yes. Yes, what I discussed in my last session, I think uh, JSP was completed, I think so. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I mean. yes. yes, it's time to introduce our beautiful frameworks. Like you people also very much interested to like to learn on this frameworks, right? So it's time to introduce those frameworks, whatever we are are going to use in real time. Okay. So now Java frameworks. What are the various Java frameworks? You people already know it. Yeah. So if I open my content, where is my content? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes. So if I open my content here, like our core Java completed, JWW completed. Now it's time to introduce frameworks. Frameworks in the sense we are going to discuss Spring and Hibernate. These are the various frameworks, but uh, nowadays a uh, good boom is there for Hibernate and Spring. Okay, it's time to introduce these two frameworks. Okay. So at middle, at middle we'll introduce design patterns as well. Okay, like uh, at the middle of uh, Spring and at the middle of Hibernate, we'll introduce uh, design patterns. Okay, Krishna, are you okay? Yes, yes, I am fine. Yeah, and Krishna, one more thing uh, this time is only for today. Like, uh, as I said yesterday, as I said yesterday, hello, yeah, yeah, Navin, yes. Yes, uh, today I have uh, one demo session for my new batch. Like, uh, new batch was formed. So need to take a demo for that uh, batch. And uh, my new batch one is uh, in morning session, not in evening. You no need to bother. Okay, your time is not at all going to disturb. Like uh, your schedule is not at all going to disturb. Okay, so my freelancer project also. Now, I am asking. I am asking you about the time, not for me. For that guy, if anyone wants to join and if they want to know the timing, that's why I'm asking. No, not for her, no, I am. No, no, not for me it, or no. our no, session, no. okay? Yes, yeah. yes, even for you and for other students also, they're right, like Suhas and Madhvi, these yeah. people are there, right? So I'm informing uh, to them as well. So, uh, like, uh, if I start my new batch, like, I, I need another 15 days of time for you to complete the entire session, yeah. as I said, yeah. right? So this 15 days will continue in the same slot for you guys. I'm not going to disturb okay. because you people already you know very much familiar with this timing. So I don't want to disturb you guys. Yeah. Okay. So that is my plan. And my new batch, like uh, at morning right now, I'm doing one uh, freelancer project that was in uh, uh, final stage. Like it will complete in another one or two days. Okay. So we'll take my new batch at morning session. If possible, after completion of your session, we'll take at evening. So I don't want to disturb your time. That is what I mean to say. Okay? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> next, it, uh, next Hibernate. So first, I'm going to introduce Hibernate framework. So this Hibernate is an alternate framework for JDBC technology. So what is the importance of JDBC? You people already know it very much. It's an alternate for JDBC. <clears throat> okay, so what is the importance of JDBC technology in Java? You people already know it, and uh, you know how to connect with the database from your Java application. Yes, and each and everything you know very much. Like I gave each and every point, and I gave each and everything uh, practically approved in front of you guys, right? So, what is the importance of JDBC? To 
to create, create a connectivity with database? Yes. To connect with database from your Java application, JDBC technology was useful. Database is different. Database is different and your Java is totally different. So, if you want to connect with the database from your Java, how you connect? You need a platform, right? That platform is JDBC. That you know it very much clearly. If I open yeah. it. Getting noise. So, if I open my JDBC architecture, this is my architecture, what I gave. I think you practiced all these examples. How many of you practiced all these examples, JDBC servlets? So, Grishma, have you went through all JDBC applications? So if you know JDBC, then only I, uh, you can able to like you can able to get this hibernate knowledge. Without JDBC knowledge, it was a little bit difficult to get hibernate knowledge. Kindly remember. Hello. So uh, everything would be continuous. Continuous. Okay. So here, this is my Java application like username, password, email, mobile qualification designation. I have some data. So whenever I click on register button, I want to save all these details in my database. So this is Java technology and this is database. This is totally different and this is totally different. So if you want to store this type of data into database from your Java application, like if you want to connect with the database from your Java application, you need a platform. That platform is called as JDBC. Okay. So how to connect with the database, like what are the steps we need to follow, five steps we need to follow, all those steps and what are the various scenarios like what are the various uh, uh, what i mean to say scenarios used to connect with database like statement prepared statement callable statement when it would be useful when we have to go with statement prepared statement and callable statement and different methods execute method execute update method execute query method all these things you know very much i hope am i right hello hello Grish, Hello. Okay, right? Grish, yeah, yeah. Son, Madhvi, everyone. Yes. So, yes. Yes. Similarly, Hibernet also, whatever JDBC will do, same Hibernet also will do. Nothing great. But we have some separate advantages and separate features with uh, Hibernet. Okay. Mm. So, whatever JDBC will do, same thing Hibernet also will do. First thing, but the way we are proceeding, the way we are writing the code and the way we are connecting with the database is totally different. If you go with JDBC, I'm a Java developer. I don't know anything about database. Even I don't know single query, basics of queries also, I don't know. Because I'm a pure Java developer. I need to take care about Java. How can I, uh, you know, uh, connect with, like, how can I take care about, taking care about this queries, all these things. I'm a Java developer. I know only Java. I don't know anything about queries. So, if you don't know queries, are you able to connect with the database using JDBC? Is it possible? No. No, it's no. not at all possible. You have to write at least query. Whatever the query you want to write, you have to write. But you are a Java developer. You don't know that query. So, how you connect? It's very typical. Right? Yeah. Typical, right? So, like that, like that, we have so many disadvantages with JDBC. To overcome all those disadvantages, this Hibernate framework will be the Hibernate framework will be the Okay. So, using this Hibernate, we are going to connect with the database. And uh, it's like a framework. It's uh, Hibernate is an open source framework, kindly remember. Hibernate is an open source framework provides abstraction layer on abstraction layer means like uh, what I mean to say exactly uh, this came by eliminating disadvantage of so and so technology so abstraction layer on JDBC okay so on top of JDBC this Hibernate came into picture to overcome all the disadvantages and limitations with uh, JDBC okay so it's an open source framework, like Java is an open source, right? Similarly, like Sarlets, everything yeah. is open source, right? Similarly, Hibernate is also one of the open source framework. And one more thing, in real time, in real time, I'm telling you, 
connecting with the database from your java application means max 99.9% people will use hibernate only in any application in any application i am not talking about very old applications 1990s 2000 applications i am not talking like after 2005 after 2005 whatever the application develop all those applications are under hibernate only okay so how to take care about this hibernate yeah. more and more and why this hibernate has to use instead of jdbc so those are uh, like those features we we'll let you know first first we'll make you the importance of like we we'll let you know the importance of hibernate later we'll uh, uh, dig into actual hibernate first first we'll uh, talk about something jdbc limitations jdbc limitations we'll talk first so what are the various jdbc limitations you people already know it first one database dependency is there am i right or not dependent yeah database dependency that means database dependency means we have to know the queries without query or i don't know anything about queries how can i connect it's not at all possible and one more thing performance was very low performance was very low with jdbc that means if your java application wants to connect with database like to run some query like select star from customer this is what the query what i want to execute from my java application in jdbc you are going to get the result within 1 minute so for suppose within 1 minute of time that why it is going to take that much of time you know first you have to load the driver and then you have to uh, make the connection like you have to get the connection object and then you have to write statement and then you have to write uh, execute method or uh, any method and then you have to close the connection that means totally you have to do five steps to connect with the database and uh, to execute your query actual query am i right or not totally you have to yes totally five steps uh, are going to execute am i right or not yeah. so five steps means yes, for each yes. step at least uh, uh, you know 20 seconds for suppose 20 into 5 totally 100 seconds 100 100 seconds that means more than 1 minute you are going to get result after 1 minute is it a good process in real mm -hmm. time no no it's not at all a good process and it's not at all a industry standard so performance wise it's not at all suitable to use jdbc okay that is also one more reason and one more thing we have only one option to execute uh, queries in jdbc like either we have to get statement or prepare statement or callable statement and either we have to call one method that's it we don't have any other options uh, uh, to connect with database and to execute our queries but but in uh, in hibernate we have so many options what are those options will let you know that is also one more uh, limitation with jdbc single what i mean to say single option and the don't have multiple to connect with database okay i think uh, vijay also yeah. joined hi vijay how are you hello fine sir Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Yeah, fine, sir. Yes. Now I'm going to talk something about Hibernate feature. So to over like by overcoming all these limitations, by overcoming all these limitations, our Hibernate came into picture. features okay so what is the first first feature of hibernate you know it is very simple like in hibernate whatever the programming we are going to maintain that is very lightweight programming okay so it supports hmm. lightweight programming that means we no need to write any complex uh, beans and any complex logics in hibernate okay if you go with ejb technology have you heard ejb any any of you ejb no entity no. beans all these things 
So EJB also one of the framework kind of thing to connect with database and uh, for persistence logic it would be useful. So there we have to maintain complex, uh, uh, so, uh, complex beams and complex entities we have to maintain. But in this Hibernate we no need to maintain any complex beams and complex code here. Totally supports lightweight programming in the form of POJO classes. POJO classes you know right encapsulated class. How many of you know POJO class? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Having set and set. Yes, POJO class means it's a class having uh, you know properties and those for those properties we used to write setters and getter methods. Six POJO class mm -hmm. is also called as bean, Java bean, kindly remember, Bhishma. POJO class is also called as yeah. Java bean. It is one of the design pattern. That design pattern will introduce while I'm talking about uh, uh, spring. One design pattern we have DAO design pattern. That, uh, while I'm talking about design, DAO design pattern will uh, actual uh, will discuss about that bean all these things. Okay. Even this POJO model programming also one of the design pattern. Okay. So what is this design pattern? Also, we'll uh, let you know one more time. It supports very lightweight programming in the form of POJO classes. Pojo classes. Second one. Second one. We no need to write any database queries here. Without writing single query, without writing single query, I'm going to uh, connect with the database and you can able to uh, do whatever the operations I want. So if you want to get the data from uh, customer's table, which query you need to execute in the uh, JDBC? Select. Select the customer from the customers. Right? But in Hibernate, yeah. without writing any single line of query, without writing any query, I'm going to do the same operation. I'm going to get the data from customer's table. That is the beauty of Hibernate. So, here, we no need to depend on database queries. That means, it is totally, dead. here database dependency is there, but here, no database dependency. Okay? It is yeah. database independent. And one more thing. One more thing, if you observe in your JDBC, for each and every database, like for Oracle, for Oracle type 4 driver, uh, cl uh, driver class name is different and uh, URL is different. And coming to MySQL, the driver class name and URL is different. Am I right or not? Yeah. If you open my content, I think you forgot again. How many of you know it? Uh, yes. Yes, those are different. Yes. If you observe here, coming to Oracle, driver class name and driver URL are these two. Driver class name is Oracle.jdbc.oracle driver. Driver URL was this one. And coming to MySQL, this one. You driver URL and the driver class name is this one. That means totally changed or not? Driver class name and driver URL. So similarly, for suppose right now, right now my my ICIC net banking application was connected with Oracle. What my point? So right now I my ICIC net banking application was connected with Oracle. So like ICIC net banking application means it's not a small application; it's a very uh, you know big application. Okay, right? So I have one lakh Java files for suppose. In my application, I have 1 lakh Java files. So, in 1 lakh Java files, I have a business logic to connect with database for credit card operations, for debit card operations, for transaction related operations, and for account related, like saving account related operations. I need to connect with database regularly. Right? So, in each and every Java file, I wrote the queries using JDBC. So, I am using JDBC for suppose. Okay? In my application, I use JDBC for suppose. So in every application, I used to write select a star from customer and in some Java file, insert into our create table for suppose create in one uh, Java file, I used to create the table that is my requirement create table uh, for suppose any credit card credit card. Mm suppose credit card number so if it is oracle data type is what number type right data data type is what for numbers for digits 
हेलो हेलो ग्रीष्मा इफ इट इज अरेकिल डेटाबेस नंबर डेटा टाइप नंबर इज द डेटा टाइप कैंडी रिमेंबर सो इफ यू गो विद द नेम कस्टमर नेम वेयर केयर टू वेयर केयर टू इज द डेटा टाइप एंड इफ यू गो विद एड्रेस अगेन वेयर केयर टू दीस आर द डेटा टाइप ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट द क्वेरी आई वांट टू एग्जीक्यूट इन वन जावा एप्लीकेशन so in each and every java file i have a queries which were related to oracle database which like uh, each and every query was totally related to oracle database so in future after 2 years my management changed my database from oracle to mysql because of several reasons because of uh, you know uh, several reasons whether it is related to money or whatever it may be maintenance purpose whatever it may be my oracle was migrated to mysql so if your database was changed you have to change each and every java file or not because yes. these queries are related to oracle if it is mysql in future the mysql doesn't support this number type instead of number you have to write yeah, integer integer, integer. Yeah. how many of you know it instead of number you have to write integer integer instead of var char to you have to write var char am i right or not yeah. so yes. you have to go through each and every line of code among uh, among 1 lakh java files am i right or not you have to change yes. each and every java file by going with each and every line of code because we don't know where uh, the dependency was available right so we have to change each and every line of uh, code or not say yes or no everybody yeah yes That's right so it's a serious problem or not so changing each yes. and going with each and every line of code and changing this uh, one lakh java files means it's not a simple thing it takes one year of time that means for just for just database migration you are taking one year of time like more than 10 developers has to work nearly one year of time for just database migration it's not a simple process even uh, company also uh, even company has to spend more and more amount for that migration so it's a serious problem but in hibernate but in hibernate we no need to change a single line of code even you change your database in future as well just change your configuration file that's it instead of my instead of uh, oracle configurations we are going to write mysql configurations in configuration file that's it everything will happen automatically that is the beauty of hibernate Hope you got it clearly. Yeah. This. <clears throat> What I mean to say was, uh, even if we change database software in future, no need to change any code. No need to change any code. okay so it simply like whatever whatever we want like uh, whatever the migration you want to do same thing you can do within 2 minutes of time instead of 1 year by 10 developers 10 developers are going to do 1 year up to 1 year if you don't use hibernate if you want to convert to mysql but same thing if i use hibernate i will finish the same work within 2 minutes of time by the single developer see the difference Ten developers, one year of time, and single developer, two minutes of time. Which is best? Mm. Okay. Obviously, Hibernate is best, right? So that is one more feature of Hibernate. That is one more uh, 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 greatest feature of Hibernate. And the fourth one. <coughs> so even JDBC, we didn't have any, uh, you know, inbuilt uh, uh, functionalities like for transaction management and, uh, you know. for performance related things we don't have any inbuilt predefined library in jdbc but in hibernate we have built in support for transaction management all these things transaction management all these okay and then in hibernate we are going to get more and more performance in the form of hibernate catching technologies we have hibernate catching technologies so using those catching technologies we are going to get great performance in hibernate so what is this hibernate catching all these things will let you know 
at the end of the session like after completion like uh, at the end of uh, sessions we'll introduce this hibernate catching technology hibernate catching uh, technique okay so it supports hibernate catching which increases performance of the application in a great extent okay any spelling mistake in sentence it supports hibernate catching okay good which increases performance of the application in a great extent good next and one more thing if you go with the jdbc we have only single option to connect with the database but in hibernate we have various scenarios and various options to connect with the database and to execute our queries to execute uh, whatever like you if whether you want to do some operations in database like insert or update or delete or procedures or whatever it may be whatever it may be we have different options in hibernate okay so uh, what are those different options you know different options we have to connect with or to execute or to connect with database to fulfill our business logic okay what are those very various options you know what are those various options in the first one was uh, normal methods we have various methods normal methods normal methods in the sense save method get method all these things i think vijay already know it you already know it all these things am i right next using native sql we can and third one using hql we can all these are different uh, techniques to connect with the database each and everything will let you know soon and fourth one criteria api and the fifth one mm, normal mappings one to one different mappings we have these are the various options to connect with the database in uh, hyper okay and one more thing as you know it's having predefined library to check the like uh, uh, like to handle the exceptions we have a great predefined library in hibernate itself okay and we can maintain different uh, uh, mappings like if you want to connect with different tables at a time previously i connected with only single table right customer table but i want to connect with multiple tables customer table accounts table and then credit card table three tables i want to connect at a time so for that type of scenarios we have great predefined library in hibernate okay these are some basic uh, features of hibernate okay what my point everybody yes 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 now now it's time to introduce what are what are the resources we need to uh, develop to connect with the database using hibernate it's 8:30 right time next various resources need to develop for hibernate application first one and before talking about this hibernate we have various versions hibernate 3.0 like uh, java is having different versions right java 1.2 1.3 1.4 1.5 1.6 1.7 right now 1.8 and 1.9 is going on right similarly hibernate also different versions hibernate 3.0 hibernate 3.1 3.2 and the very recent hibernate 4 hibernate 5 also uh, came very recently but uh, that is not a standard version hibernate 4 is the standard version hibernate 4.x x means anything whether it is 1 2 3 4 whatever it may be version 
I'm going to use this type of version, hibernant 4.x version. Okay, 3.x, whatever it may be. So, this entire hybrid predefined library was available in the form of uh, just jar files. In the form of jar files. So, your Sarlet predefined library was available in jar files, Sarlet type on API.jar. Am I right or not? Yeah. And JDBC library available in which jar file? JDBC library. I think again you have Yes, OJDBC jar file. I clearly represented here. OJDBC 6 dot jar file. Need to add to our build path. That is what I mentioned clearly here. Similarly, for our hibernate, we have separate jar files. Those jar files, here we don't have only we uh, single jar file. We have multiple jar files need to add. Okay, for hibernate. Next. What are the various resources we need to develop? You know, first one is Hibernet configuration file. This is what we need to develop. Hibernet configuration file. Okay. So, what is this configuration file? What we need to write in this configuration file? All these things will let you know, and all these things uh, will uh, develop in front of you guys. Second one, Pojo class. Pojo class or Bean, whatever it may be. Okay, you know, right? What is Pojo class? Next. Yes. Next. Hibernate mapping file. Mapping file we need to write. Fourth one. Main class. Main Java file or client file. So, Hibernate means it's not a web application. Am I right? Is it a web application? Hibernate. No. It's like a JDBC application. JDBC I have taken main method or not? Yes. If, if your application is not web application, must and should you have to write main method. But if it is a web application, you don't need to write main method. Am I, am I wrote main method in my Charlotte application anywhere? No. No. Am I wrote main method anywhere in my Charlotte application? No. No. Can I route anywhere uh, my main method in JDBC? Yes. Yes, right. Similarly, this Hibernate is an alternate for what? JDBC. JDBC. So here also you need to write main method. So that main method I'm going to write in my main Java file and I'm going to call my Hibernate container. We'll write something, we'll write some code. After that, we'll do my operation. All those things will let you know. Each and every line of code will let you know soon. First. So these four are the resources what we need to develop if you want to connect with the database from your java application using hyper okay first what is this configuration file and what we need to write inside this configuration file how many of you know web.xml file how many of you know? yes Rishma. web.xml file what is the importance of web.xml file and where we have to use in web, web, this web.xml file? What is the importance of web.xml file? Sorry? Yes. In, in web.xml file, we are going to configure our servlet with a specific URL pattern. Am I right or not? Like you have to yes. take servlet tag and servlet class tag and then servlet mapping tag and then URL pattern. Yes. I think you URL. So please try to practice all these things. Please try to practice Sarlets. Uh, JDBC just skip if you don't have enough time. But the Sarlets is mandatory to practice. And JDBC try to practice one or two applications enough. And the Hibernate is very much mandatory to practice.
there is my web.xml file. Yes, this is my sample web.xml file. Sir, suppose. Yes, what I wrote in my web.xml file? Surlet tag, surlet name tag, surlet class tag, and then URL pattern. URL pattern. That means if you give URL pattern as slash register, this registration surlet is going to call. That is what you mentioned. That means it's an XML file where you provided configurations of your surlet. Am I right or not? Yes. Similarly, in Hibernate, in Hibernate, Hibernate configuration file is one of the XML file where we are going to provide all the configurations, whatever needed to connect with the database. Your database user, database password, and uh, driver you, class name, driver URL. All these things we have to mention in Hibernate configuration file. So, what are the what are the various configurations I need to connect with database? You people already know it in JDBC. First, according to various steps in uh, JDBC, what is the first step? Load and register the driver. Load and register the driver is class dot for name of that driver class name you have to mention Oracle dot JDBC dot Oracle driver. Yes. Am I right or not? Yes. That driver class name you have to mention here also. Whatever you mentioned as configurations in JDBC, same thing you have to provide here also. Okay. But, but here you mentioned everything in Java itself. But here I'm going to mention in configuration file, XML file. That is the thing. So driver class name you have to mention. I'm writing briefly. I'm not writing the entire code. Driver class name. Or otherwise we'll write briefly. Driver class name. What else? After driver class name, what else need to uh, configure? So while establishing the connection, while establishing the connection, what I wrote the code there? Driver manager dot get connection of what I wrote inside? JDBC dot yes. What is it? What is it? It is driver one, name. Driver URL, not name. Driver URL. URL. Driver URL also we need to configure. I think we'll go with the point again. It's driver URL. See, observe here. It's a driver URL. JDBC colon, Oracle colon, thin colon, at the rate localhost colon, 1521 colon, XC. Am I right or not? We'll open, we'll open my code. JDBC application. And Grishma, each and every, like the entire content was uploaded in Drive. I'm not sending mails every day. But everything I'm uploading in Drive itself, you just uh, check out from uh, Drive and you just uh, go with that content. Okay? Because my mail is not supporting to that uh, to send that uh, huge file because each and every file is having a lot of uh, size. Okay? But daily I'm uploading in Drive. See, observe here. Getting connection. How I am getting connection? JDBC colon. This URL I passed or not? As a second step. Similarly, in your hybrid configuration also, in your hybrid configuration file also, you have to configure your driver URL. Okay. Next. What else I need to configure? You you uh, configured your driver class name and you got the connection object. In order to connect with the database, first you need to know your database username and username and password or not. Yes. Database means yes. it's a software, it's a secured place. Database means your valuable data would be available, like you know whatever the amount you have in your account. That type of valuable data was available in database. So have to maintain a lot of security for database, right? So obviously we need database username and password. Am I right or not? So what is the username and password yes. here for my MySQL database? Root and tiger. So the username and password okay. also you have to configure. Username, database, username. Database, username. And then what else? Database, what? Password. password database password yes these many things we need to configure in hibernate configuration so if you check here 
if you check here for suppose if you go with jdbc i have like insert application uh for suppose select like uh, select related operation i have different operations in different java files so even if you go with the uh, different java files everywhere you have to load the driver you have to get the connection and you have to get the statement object and then you have to execute your query am i right or not first you have to do these three yes. statements everybody please am i right or not that means for suppose like jdbc insert app.java i have thousand java files in thousand java files i want to connect with database so everywhere you need to load the driver everywhere you need to get the connection everywhere you need to get the statement of am i right or not yeah then only you can execute your query using execute query method or execute yes. method whatever it may be but here in hibernate we no need to configure all these things in all the uh, java files i have thousand java files like similarly in uh, jdbc but you no need to touch all those things in all thousand java files just configure in your configuration file that's it one time need one time need only that work you need to do only one time okay so this configuration file is same for entire application even your application is having thousand java files this configuration file is single single kindly remember okay so that is also one more uh, beauty of hibernate we no need to configure this the driver class name and the you know driver url username password all these things multiple times okay hope you got it yeah. next yes next pojo class are been so pojo class are been means it's a very lightweight programming it supports lightweight programming i said already right similarly here as well yeah. what i said in uh, hibernate without writing any query without writing any query i am connecting with database and i am executing my uh, queries whatever the query, whatever you want to do for suppose if you want to insert the data into customers table i am not going to write insert query but still i am going to do the same operation if you want to get the data from customers table i am not going to call any select query i am not going to write any select query but still i am going to get the data from customers table okay that is what i said right here i clearly mentioned right it's totally database queries independent yes. no need to depend on database queries that i mentioned clearly right <clears throat> yes yeah. so pojo class means for suppose if you want to connect with customer table customer table having different different columns right customer id customer name and customer address all these things right so all those columns we are going to take as properties and for those properties we used to write setter and getter methods in this pojo class okay so how it would be useful we let you know soon well after giving my first application you are going to get complete idea what is the importance of this particular java bean okay and one more thing the class what you have taken as pojo class or java bean it has to be single if it is extends from any third party class it is not called as pojo class pojo class means kindly remember pojo class or java bean we we'll write it here as java bean java bean or pojo class both are same if any class which doesn't extends from any third party class and which is having properties and for those properties setter and getter methods available in that particular class that is called as java bean or pojo class Okay, how it looks like here, you know, class. But suppose customer is my class name. Is it extends from any other class? Is it extends from any other class? Hello. Yeah. Hello. No. No. Yeah. It doesn't extends from any other class up to now. Now I am going to write some yeah. properties. Private customer ID. Private customer name. It's an encapsulated class or not? Private access modifier I'm using. It's an encapsulated class yes. or not? What is the meaning of yes. encapsulation? You people already know it, and it's one of the OOPs principle. Yes. How it could be useful in real time also? I will tell you. Yes. Customer name. So all OOPs concepts and all exception, uh, sorry, customer, uh, sorry, collections concepts, all these things I'm going to use now, in real time, by using these Hibernate applications and Spring applications. so if you don't know all those things you can't able to develop this application like in hibernate and spring next address customer address so for these three properties i'm going to write setter and getter methods setter and getter methods you people already know it set c id set c name set address get c id get c name get address okay so this is called as pojo class so it's a class which doesn't extends from any third party class 
which is having properties and for those properties shutter and getter methods are available so it's a pojo class okay so in your pojo class you have to take a property this like each and every pojo class is going to connect with one table like customer here customer class is going to connect with customer table like that we are going to map so here i said navin you said without writing any query you are trying to uh, connect with database and you are trying to connect with customer table how it is possible navin you have to get that question so here even i am not writing any query i am going to map my uh, so, sorry so even i am not writing any query i am going to get the data and i am going to insert the data into database in the form of objects hibernate means it's a orm framework i forgot to mention this uh, point actually it's orm framework orm means everything we are going to do o means object here everything we are going to do in the form of objects only object relational model okay so everything we are going to mention in the form of objects only as java is a pure object oriented uh, as java is an object oriented programming language in hibernate we are going to do all these things in the form of objects but we are not going to write any queries we are going to get the data in the form of objects we are going to send the data in the form of objects everything okay so that object is this one this pojo class is an object so if you create uh, like if you want to get the data from a uh, database like customer table you are going to get the data in the form of customer object that means you no need to write any select star from customer one that is there some approach is there all these things will let you know so okay that is the importance of pojo class so maybe you have some confusion with pojo class but after giving my first application after introducing my first application you are going to get complete picture for sure i am saying okay okay krishna okay. yeah next now just now i said right each and every table is going to map with one class from our hibernate that's just now i said right so that mapping we are going to mention in our mapping file okay okay our pojo class would be mapped with database table so you have to mention right to which like database means it's having multiple tables customer table credit card table debit card table transaction table and accounts table and you know privilege customer table different tables we have obviously in my application whatever i am working now nearly more than 500 tables are there 500 plus tables are there not only 500 it's more nearly 700 tables are there in my application whatever working now we can't say like only single uh, uh, table like so we are going to maintain multiple tables in real time multiple procedures multiple functions multiple triggers so many things we are going to maintain pojo class so to which table you want to connect and uh, that table you have to map with your pojo class that mapping you have to write first and one more thing so your pojo class having multiple properties right am i right or not yeah Yes. yes each and property you have to map with each and every column in database table each and for suppose if you go with customer table select star from customer if you write customer id customer name customer address mobile number email these many details you are getting right that means it is the customer table is having multiple columns am i right or not yes yes right yes. so similarly first your pojo class was mapped with database table and pojo class properties are mapped with database columns that we are going to do in mapping file how to write how to map we'll let you know soon soon we'll let you know yes hibernate sorry pojo class properties pojo class properties mapped with what table column right yeah next that's all we need to write in mapping file nothing great next main class in the sense we have to write the main method inside it we have to call one method we have to call one method what are those methods we let you know in my next session like different methods we have we have to call that method before calling that method we have to get a, a configuration object and then we have to get the session tracker object and then we have to get the session object and then we have to call that method that means actual database calling like database calling will happen from this file 
why from this file only because java execution like program execution would be started from this file or not say yes or no everybody please because it's having main method right from main method only jvm starts its execution process so obviously the entire process will start from here only so that actual database calling would happen from this particular file what we are going to write actually in this file will let you know in my next session okay yeah yes any queries up to now now you got the importance of hibernate first why hibernate came yes. into picture every time i used to say hibernate and spring but importance of hibernate now you got it this is the actual importance of hibernate because of this only this was this was uh, this much famous student people are using regularly it in real time okay yes please try to go with it and one more thing and one, one more thing please try to go with that the surlet applications and jdbc applications at least once because yes, okay. don't go with all those applications i have to repeat each and every line twice and thrice in hibernate and spring but if you practice if i say one or once or twice you are going to get the points okay this is my request okay yes any queries up to now krishma and uh, madhavi suhas no 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 any queries fine guys see you back what the time now i think my 855 i have 5 minutes of time fine fine krishma see you back and one more thing krishma you said uh, one person right from uk completion of hibernate for your batch will start actual session for my new batch up to now all demos like normal introduction classes going on okay okay so uh, okay. up to further 10 days i'm okay if anybody joins okay 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 no no worries in that area yeah. yes okay. and grishma one more thing uh, if time is there like if bridges was free uh, can you uh, give me a call once Uh, today yes today or tomorrow mm, navin uh, if we call you in the noon time tomorrow like 12 or 1 that's fine up for you or not afternoon 12 yeah yeah i'm okay i'm okay no problem yeah okay yes, then yes. i will ask bridges yeah actually i thought the bridges will call you uh, today itself but you know didn't get any call so i thought he's busy in it bit that's why even i didn't send any message no 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 the thing is uh, we are talking about that guy mm -hmm. and we just try to talk with him but he didn't get a reply because i i think he is busy in his job okay so that's why bridges didn't call you yeah uh, okay. bridges say me first to talk to that guy and then talk with navin that's why i say okay Okay. But if you want to talk with him, uh, I will uh, leave the message to Bridges. If he is free today, then he will call you. Otherwise, in the noon time, he will definitely call you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. No worries, Krishna. Thank you. And one more okay. thing, he said uh, he used to send your CV uh, to my mail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, send it so to me. I will send you. Uh, I will update. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Fine, Krishna. See you back. And uh, okay. Madhuri, everyone. Thank you, Namita. Yeah. Bye. See you back, everyone. Yeah. Bye.